She teaches me not to underestimate people. I think if she wouldn't have had the things that hinder her, she would have been a really good athlete. I think it's surprising when they find out that she has a disability. I think what happens is everybody puts, you know, kids with disabilities in a box and they limit what they think they should be doing. Um, and we try not to do that. This sport, I like actually allowed to do it. I can do it. At uh, an older age, we decided to have children and it was impossible. So my husband's adopted and we said, let's adopt. So we adopted our first daughter and uh, then almost two years later, we adopted uh, Gabby. That's not something typically uh, that they can tell at birth unless there was some kind of severe thing that happened during the birthing process, but there was nothing like that to indicate that. Originally, when I first started noticing things that were a little bit uh, awkward, like reaching over her body, like they don't cross midline. Uh, babies typically don't, but she would because she wouldn't use her right hand. And so just because I knew these little key things about being an infant, I thought that was a little bit odd, and so I started wondering what had happened. And so at one point, I finally, um, I talked to a few doctors. They thought she possibly had had a stroke in uterus uh, with the birth uh, mother. And um, so that's why it was affecting her right side. I can't lose it very well. Um, it affects all of my right side, hitting my leg. So when she, her older sister started playing, we said, hey, uh, we knew the coach and we knew that he was someone who would be pretty fair and it wasn't like a super competitive uh, team. So she knew some of the other girls on there and they were her friends and felt comfortable with that. So she said, yeah, I'll try it. And so she was willing to go out and try it. So it was, uh, you know, just a definitely learning learning curve. How I see it is um, her whole right side is basically um, smaller than her left side and so uh, always trying to copy her left side and um, naturally it's weaker and uh, her right hand tends to curl up uh, when she's not doing anything with it or um, she'll hang it out and it'll just be like this if she's doing something with her left hand and her fingers will mimic each other. Um, her right leg is a little bit slower um, uh, instinct wise than her left and also a little bit smaller. Even learning how to bat right was a, another thing. How is she going to hold? Because her right hand can only assist, and she's basically batting one handed, you know. So, uh, you know, her batting doesn't look as strong and powerful because she doesn't have the strength of her right arm there to assist her. She wears a right hand. Uh, right-hander's glove because she can't wear a glove on her right hand to throw with her left hand because her right hand is small and won't keep the glove on and there's no real control if she goes to field the ball and so she has to wear it on her left hand uh, which basically means she has to whenever she feels the ball she has to take it off and then grab the ball and then throw with her left hand. It takes longer to take off the glove but I get boosted and get faster. But she's a quick runner, really fast runner, and so that doesn't really hinder her. Even though she does have a little bit of a, uh, a limp when she runs, she still runs really fast. I mean, she's the second fastest on, on our team. I didn't think she'd be as good as she is. Yeah, I thought that her disability would limit her, and I didn't know how much effort she would put into getting better. And she's worked her tail off. I'm very shy. Um, because, um, sometimes when I speak, it doesn't go the right woods. When I speak, sometimes you can't hear one of the woods, like, you can't hear what I'm going to say. There's been little comments that kids will say where they're just being really mean to her, you know, about it. and don't realize that it's hurtful to her, you know? Um, it's hurtful. <laughs> it, as a father, you want your kids to be accepted.
even though she can have these uh, feelings towards uh, about insecurity, uh, it, it's kind of like a opposite because even though she can feel that way in a group of people, she is um, she doesn't care at the same time when she's out there what people are thinking about her. Yeah, I don't want people to know about it because then they might treat me different and I don't want it to. You don't think some people would uh, like look up to you or anything? <laughs> she was saying that she doesn't think that people look up to her, that she's an inspiration. Do you think she's an inspiration? Uh, yeah, I, I do think so. I think uh, once people, I think a lot of times people don't understand the severity of her, her disabilities. She's inspiring to me just because of her strong will and, and not willing to give up. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people I think that would just say, no, you know, I can't do that because of my disability, and she doesn't think that way. She's someone to definitely look up to because, you know, if she can execute as well as other girls with one hand. You know, hopefully uh, somebody here that maybe has a disability of whatever type um, will see her and say, well, you know what, I want to try to do something as well, you know, whatever sport or craft or whatever it is.